Welcome to the 2020 National Healthcare Safety Network, or NHSN, Quick Learn Series. These are brief and informative presentations from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. They serve as an educational resource for healthcare facilities working to prevent healthcare-associated infections, or HAIs. In this Quick Learn, we discuss using the Compare Single SIR to Nominal Value option of the Statistics Calculator in NHSN. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to explain the purpose of the statistics calculator, describe when to use the compare single SIR to nominal value option, use the compare single SIR to nominal value option to input data for comparison, and interpret the comparison results. Let's get started with the purpose of the statistics calculator. What is the Statistics Calculator? It's a tool within the NHSN application that allows additional comparisons of two measures or metrics to be made. Why should you use the Statistics Calculator? The Statistics Calculator allows you to conduct statistical tests to determine if there is a statistically significant difference between two measures. We will just be focusing on one of the options, Compare Single SIR to Nominal Value. The Compare Single SIR to Nominal Value option should be used to compare your facility's standardized infection ratio, or SIR, to a nominal value, such as a goal or target SIR. For example, you would use this option if you wanted to compare your hospital's SIR to a goal SIR of 0.50. This Compare Single SIR to Nominal Value option can also be used to compare a Standardized Utilization Ratio, or SUR, to a Nominal SUR, or a Standardized Antimicrobial Administration Ratio, or SAR, to a Nominal SAR. In this Quick Learn, we will look at comparing a facility's SIR to the facility's target SIR. To perform the comparison of a single SIR to a nominal value, the NHSN Statistics Calculator uses a mid-P exact test based on the Poisson distribution. This test will produce a two-tailed p-value, which can be used to determine if there is statistical evidence of a significant difference between the SIR and the nominal value. Let's walk through an example of how to use the Compare Single SIR to Nominal Value option of the Statistics Calculator. In this example, our hospital is interested in knowing if our catheter-associated urinary tract infection, or CAUTI SIR, in 2018 is significantly different from our target CAUTI SIR of 0.70. A target SIR of 0.70 would indicate a 30% reduction compared to the baseline. To compare, we need to know our number of observed infections and our number of predicted infections, also referred to as expected infections, for 2018. We can get these values from generating data sets and running reports using NHSN analysis. For more on generating datasets and running reports, refer to the Quick Learn link on this slide and the additional resources provided at the end of this Quick Learn. From our generated report, we found that in 2018, our facility observed nine counties and 9.385 infections were predicted. We see from the SIR p-value in the report that the SIR of 0.959 is not significantly different than 1. However, we also want to know if this SIR is significantly different than our target county SIR of 0.70. Now that we have observed events, predicted events, and target SIR, we are now ready to use the statistics calculator. The Statistics Calculator can be accessed within the NHSN application. Within the left navigation bar, select Analysis, and then select Statistics Calculator. We then see six options for the Statistics Calculator. 
Information on how to use these options can be found in a quick reference guide on the NHSN Analysis website. This link is also provided at the end of this Quick Learn. Since we are trying to compare our 2018 SIR to our target SIR, we select Compare Single SIR to Nominal Value. You'll see a blank input screen as pictured here. Everything entered into the data fields on this screen will appear in your results. Under Data Source, enter a group label in the Group Label field. We used County SIR. Enter the number of observed infections and number of predicted infections, also known as expected infections, from the SIR report that you ran earlier. The standardized infection ratio will automatically be calculated and displayed. Under the Calculated Standardized Infection Ratio, enter your target SIR in the Nominal Value field. Here we entered 0, 0.70 since that is our chosen target Caudi SIR. You can also add a title for your results. This is recommended if you'll be printing or sharing your results with others in your organization. Next, click Calculate to generate your results. To generate the results of a comparison of a single SIR to a nominal value, the Statistics Calculator performs background calculations using your inputted values. Let's take a look. After selecting our nominal value, 0, 0.70, our facility's number of predicted events from our SIR, which is 9.385, is multiplied by our selected nominal value. Next, a new SIR is calculated by dividing the original number of observed events, 9, by the newly calculated predicted events, 6.5695. As you can see, our new SIR is 1.37. Lastly, a p-value is obtained via a comparison between your SIR to be compared and the newly calculated SIR using a mid-p-exact test based on the Poisson distribution. The statistics calculator performs this comparison using the SAS macro. You can access the SAS macro via the link below and on the resources slide at the end of this Quick Learn. We just walked through what the statistics calculator is doing in the background, but you'll just see your results pop up in a separate window. The results will display your number observed, number predicted, also known as number expected, and calculated SIR from the input screen. Additionally, your results will display the p-value for your SIR as compared to your nominal value or target SIR. Next, let's talk about interpreting the p-value. The p-value tells us if our SIR is statistically significantly different from our target SIR. We use 0.05 as a cutoff. If the p-value is less than 0.05, then the SIR is statistically significantly different from the nominal value or target SIR. If the p-value is greater than 0.05, then the SIR is not statistically significantly different from our nominal value. In our case, the p-value is 0.3454. This means that our 2018 SIR is not statistically significantly different from our target SIR of 0 0.70. To conclude, in this Quick Learn, we have learned about the statistics calculator and its purpose, learned when you would want to use the Compare Single SIR to Nominal Value option, how to use this option, and how to interpret the results. There are many resources available on the NHSN website for using the Statistics Calculator and understanding basic statistics, including the Statistics Calculator Quick Reference Guide, the Dataset Generation Quick Learn, the Basic Statistics Quick Learn, and the SAS Macro File for performing the comparison. Here are some of those links. 
If you need help with a statistics calculator or have any questions, email us at nhsn at cdc.gov. Thank you.